Frantic Friday. The Jamaica College boys know they have a big jump to do. They will have Raul Brenton in goal. Also in the lineup, Tariq Jones, Javon Mills, Tahir Lawrence, Renson Sears, and Malachi Sterling in what may be a back five. Maybe they'll morph into their more familiar 4 4 2 with Zabir Taylor, Adrian Reed, or make that with Dylan John, Jamani Bennett, Amarna King, and Jabari Howell with Jamoy Dennis also in this Davian Ferguson coached lineup. The captains take center stage. Adrian Reed for St. George's College, Renson Sears Jr. for Jamaica College. The officials state their final moments ahead of kickoff. St. George's College, they only need a draw to make progress to the last four of the competition. Dejon Davis will be in goal. A back five, left back, Ajani Peart, right back. Jindu Powell with Jaheim Henry, O'Neill Mitchell and Michael Pennant in central defence. Zabir Taylor, their third leading scorer this season, Adrian Reed and Tayshawn O'Neill in midfield with Matthew Spence and their leading man, Brian Burkett, at the top of this Marcel Gale coach team. Neva Bertis Bell is the technical director. score Jamaica College 1 St. George's College 1 but it's SDGC who have the desired result Oshay Nation set the game on its way St. George's College needing only a draw Jamaica College needing to win Adrian Reed with a free kick early wide of the mark Glorious chance here for Jabari Howell. Couldn't beat the goalkeeper. Sayers with this corner. The header will wind from Sterling. St. George's College struggled in the first half. That was a poor pass and Sterling picked up on it. Lovely cutback to Amarley King. But it was a really weak effort from the Jamaica College number nine. This one went into the back of the net, but Jamoin Dennis was in an upside position. The assistant in the perfect position. That one over the top for STGC. But it was Jamaica College who continued to create the chances in the first half. This one falling for Tahir Lawrence. Dejon Davis was having a peach of a first half. Dennis to Lawrence Davis in the way what a game he had Dylan John with a class of with a cross of absolute quality but Jamoy Dennis couldn't head on target it was well wide and then in the closing stages after all the domination from Jamaica College the number six is collided Javon Mills pushing Sabir Taylor and St George's College had a penalty Brian Burkett steps up and slotted it home for his 20th goal of the season to go with his 11th assist, his 39th goal in his senior schoolboy football career. And he was letting the Georgians know there was still a lot of work to do. JC continued to miss opportunities. Davian Ferguson brought on Jaden Johnson in the second half. And he delivered for his coach. A wonderful build-up and a glorious finish. Precise, pinpoint accuracy. It was 1-1. And at that stage, Jamaica College would have been feeling that they had time to get the job done. 30 minutes to find one more goal. They got the opportunities. Johnson forcing another brilliant save out of Dijon Davis.
was at a good height though, and he did very well to parry it over the top. Yes, we saw a lot of that. But even at that stage, JC still felt they could do it, and they should have done it. Free kick taking a deflection. Davis with the save, the follow-up. Lawrence trying to take a second touch of it. And that was the chance gone. It was the final one. Davis had done it again, and St. George's College had denied Jamaica College a spot in the Manning Cup semi-finals for the first time since 2012. Jamaica College, 20 shots, nine of them on target. St. George's College, 12 shots, just three on target. 27 falls in the contest, 13 committed by JC, six yellow cards, four of them going to Jamaica College. JC dominated possession, 58% to 42. There were seven corners and six of them went to Jamaica College. But the most important statistic is that St. George's College avoided defeat, which is all they needed to do to join Heidel from Group 2 into the semifinals of the Issa. The Digital Manning Cup School Boy Football Competition for 2023. Let's go to Gerard Morisili, and there is no doubt who the Digital Man of the Match is. Yeah, thank you so much, Ricardo. Of course, we have the presentation to the Man of the Match to John Davis. He is the Man of the Match, of course, that presentation made by Kaden Webley, the junior brand manager of Digital. So, thank you, Kaden. Uh, did you want to talk to me about the first save? You made a lot of good saves in this game, but that first one in particular was the best of the game, in my opinion. Was it in yours? Uh, with the first save, I just realized that the ball came through and I had to be there to back up. My defenders failed to do that for me, but they have really done well throughout the game. and I know I had to step up to the plate and make that save, and so I did. Yeah, obviously the chance to go to the semi-finals made you put your all in this game, but was it extra special that you were able to knock out the defending champions? I mean, it was extra special to me because my first Manning Cup season I came back in 2021. As most people know, we got demolished by JC 6-0 in 2021. And this is my chance that I had to step up and show them that we were coming back. It was not just not our season and we're here now and we did that and we beat them. And now we're through to the semi-final. Yeah, through to the semi-finals, as you just mentioned. Is this a message now to you, those that you face ahead of you, that you're coming for the title? I mean, I'm just here to play my game. I'm here to just play whoever comes in front of me. And let, just let's hope for the win. All right, thank you so much. And congratulations again on being the man of the match. Thank you. Yeah, the John Davis there, the man of the match from St. George's College. Let's have a chat now with Coach David Ferguson from Jamaica. Frantic Friday.